hello everyone welcome back to our channel in today's tutorial we are getting into the world of vlan and we are focusing especially on the management vlan interface so this is a crucial aspect of network configuration so whether you are a seasoned pro or just starting out stick around to enhance your networking knowledge before we dive in don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all the networking videos now let's get into the management vlan interface how we can configure the management vlan so before moving into that what is the management vlan so first thing so vlans we are using to divide the broadcast domain into the multiple segments so that the broadcast can be minimized in a particular uh, vlan so vlan interface can be assigned an ip address so we are going to assign an ip address to the vlan interface that is known as the management vlan so what are the benefits of management vlan so first it will enhance the security so isolating the management traffic add an extra layer of security to your network so whenever you are configuring the management vlan it en enhances the security it improves the performance so by segregating the management traffic you reduce the risk of uh, congestion on the main data vlans so whatever the data traffic will be moving it will be moving from a separate vlan and management traffic will be moving from the separate vlan and it also simplified your troubleshooting so if you have a dedicated vlan for management and if you find any problem or if there is any problem in the network it will help you to identify and troubleshoot easily on the network so in a multi layer switch network like uh, we have a cisco 3550 or 3560 uh, we use a vlan interface as a default gateway for the PC and other host machine on the network to communicate with the other IP network also. So we are getting into these things uh, in this labs. So there are some pre-requests we have to uh, we have to do it. So if you are using GNS or if you are having a packet tracer, you have to take one router and one switch. So moving into the lab, uh, we have some pre-requests. So we have to take uh, GNS3 or packet tracer to perform this lab. So we have to take one router and one switch. So you can see in the topology, we have taken one router and one switch we have taken. And we have connected those uh, router and switch. Then we have to configure the host name on both the devices. So first we will get into the router and we will configure the host name. So we simply have to enable it. Then we have to go to configure terminal. We have to go to configure terminal and simply have we have to type a command host name and whatever the name we want to give that so we have to give the name uh, router as r1 so we have given the router name as r1 you can able to see the our router name got changed to r1 similarly uh, we have to change the name on the switch also so we will log in into the switch we will get into the configure terminal and we will pro give the name as sw1 we will give the name so we will type host name and sw1 so this is our switch one we have changed the, uh, changed the host name on both the devices so moving into next we have to configure ip address on fast ethernet interface so uh, right now we are connected so it having a gig gig interface uh, so you can change uh, you can uh, whatever the interface you are using you can configure the ip address on that particular interface on router so we will get into the gig interface so we first we have to get into the interface interface gig port 0 by 0 by 0 so now we are into the interface so if you want to see how many interfaces are there so you have to run a command do show ip interface brief so this will show you how many total interfaces are there and what is the current configuration so right now there is no ip it is showing an unassigned and the port status is admin down so once we once we uh, up that interface it will show the status as up up else it will show you admin down or down so we will go to configure terminal then we have to go to the interface gig port 0 by 0 by 0 now we are into the interface then we have to type command ip address 10.1.1.1 255 255.255.0 so now ip ip got configured then we have to type a command no shut so this will make this particular interface up you can change you can check it the state got changed to up now and if you run the command do show ip 
So now you can able to see that IP address is configured on the interface and the status is up now. So this way you can configure the IP address on the interface. Now we have to configure the uh, VTY password on this router also so that we can able to access the device. So to configuring the VTY password, you have you have to get into the configure mode, global configuration mode. Then you have to type line VTY and this will ask you the first line number. So first line number will be zero and it will ask you the last line number. So last line number will be 15. So th this one after that you have to type login. So now it will give you the warning login disable on line 2 until the password is set. So uh, first we have to set the password then it will allow us to uh, enable or allow the login. So you have to type password and let's say we have typed the password Cisco in capital and then we will run the command login. So this way you can able uh, able to enable uh, configure the line VTY on any of the device. Similarly we will do it uh, on the switch also. So we will type line VTY 0 and 15 then we have to configure password and we will type in small letters Cisco and then we will type login. So we have configured line VTY on both the devices. So now moving into our objective. So first objective is we have to create a VLAN number 10 and, it's, and name it as a management. So we are into the switch right now. We will configure it. So first we have to go into the configure terminal then we first we will check how many VLANs are there then you have to command show VLAN do show VLAN so this will show you that right now we have VLAN 1 uh, which is a default VLAN status is active and all the interfaces are the member of this particular VLAN 1 so we will create a new VLAN so we have to type a command VLAN and VLAN ID whatever the VLAN ID we need to configure we will configure it so now VLAN 10 is created and we have to name it as management so this way you can configure a VLAN uh, now if you run the command do show VLAN so you can able to see that VLAN 10 is created and it is showing in the list uh, as an active but right now there is no port assigned against that particular VLAN so this is uh, this way you can create a VLAN but right now that VLAN uh, does not having any member ports. So now we have to configure the IP address on that particular VLAN which we have configured interface VLAN. So we will get into the interface VLAN 10. So now you can able to see interface VLAN status got changed to up now. We will configure the IP address IP address 10.1.1.10 and then subnet mask. And then we have to do no shut. So if you run the command do show IP interface brief. So you can able to see VLAN 10 having an IP address 10.1.1.10 and the status is up, up now. So this way you can configure the IP address on this particular interface. Now uh, what we are going to do, we are going to assign that particular interface which is connected that is fast ethernet 0y1 to the VLAN 10. So we have uh, to assigning an interface into the VLAN, we have to first uh, get into the interface fast ethernet 0y1, whatever the interface we need to assign we have to get into that. Then we have to type a command switch port access VLAN 10. So now this particular interface fast ethernet 0y1 will be will become the member of this particular interface and we type no shut so if you run the command do show vlan so you can able to see this particular fast ethernet 0 by 1 become, become the member of VLAN 10 and it has been removed from the default VLAN. Fast ethernet 0 by 1 interface is removed from the default VLAN. So this way you can configure the VLANs in any, uh, this way you can uh, configure the interface in any VLAN which is configured or which is created. You can assign the particular interface in that particular VLAN. So now we will uh, we will check the reachability of that uh, management IP address which we have configured from the router. So we will get into the router and type ping 10.1.1.10. So now you can able to see uh, this particular IP is reachable or this particular address is reachable from the router also. So now we will verify uh, that 
uh, we can able to access the device using the management VLAN or the or not or the management IP which we have configured we can able to access that uh, particular device uh, from the router or not so we have to do 10 let and uh, we have to type 10 dot 1 dot sorry it's uh, yeah we have to type the IP address 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 10 so now you can able to see it will ask me for the uh, password verification we will type the password so you can be able to see now we are able uh, we are into the switch uh, without uh, getting into the switch console we are able to access through the management IP address of that particular switch this way you can configure the management IP address and you can able to access the device from uh, management IP address through any router or the device or the PC which is connected uh, beyond the network so that's all for the today's video this is the quick guide to configure the management VLAN interface if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your network savvy friends and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more networking tutorials and until the next time. Thank you so much.